Hello and welcome to a video of creating 2D autographic projection drawing using Autodesk AutoCAD for figure 3, question 1c. So let's head over to the 2D drawing. Alright, so on page 3 9, you'll be presented of this question 1c. So we have a front view from view A, a left side view from your view B, and your plan view from the top view. So this is a 3D model, uh, it's how to help us visualize later on. Now, first step, we will just try to lay out our drawing in your AutoCAD. So we have your front view from view A, left end view of view B, and your plan view. So this is a rather simple exercise. So uh, I would actually prefer to start from the front view because all the dimensions are given easily. Okay, so let's head over to the drawing again and figure out what we need. So from here, we can see that we have a width of 80 by 50 height and we can draw that rectangle and afterwards we can also couple together with our R25 circle. So let's start with that. So just take note, this is your basic layout, just a, a plan in your brain so that you know that your front view will be at the bottom right hand corner. Okay, plan view will be the top right hand corner and your left hand view will be placed somewhere on the left bottom. So let's highlight all these items. Okay, left click on the top left hand corner and bring it bottom left, bottom right. And you can press the delete key. So let's begin. I will click on line, change my layer type to outline. And for this question, let me switch on my line width so that I can see it very clearly. So 50. 80 horizontally and then for this case I will just use tracing method and then I will end it spacebar to end your last command now click on circle I will draw a R25 circle from the midpoint of this line this horizontal line so to call out the midpoint snapping tool press the shift key and hold on to it right mouse click and select midpoint when you go over to the top horizontal line, you will see this green triangle. So it means your midpoint, you are placing on midpoint of that line. So left click. Okay, our radius here okay, will be 25. Enter. We will need to trim this top portion of the circle and also this inner horizontal line here. So go to trim. We will be selecting all objects because this is a rather simple exercise. So spacebar to select all. We will delete this top portion of the circle and the inner portion of your horizontal line. Alright, press escape to end the trimming tool. From your drawing, okay, we also can see this sloping line. Only thing is when we are looking from A, it will be a rectangular piece. And this rectangular piece is 30 mm from the top here. Okay, so we just need to measure from here to the bottom here and then draw a horizontal line. So line from this top here, just wait a few milliseconds, break it down and enter 30. And with that, we will begin exactly 30 mm away from the top line here. So draw horizontally and press spacebar to end it. I will now next draw this cutout. Okay, this cutout has a reference point from the right side which is 20mm with a length of it of 40 and a height of 12. So this height of 12 begins after the 30mm. So let's draw From here, line, from this corner here, move to the left side, enter 20, drag it down by 12, horizontally by 
40 and drag it up by 12 again and we have created the bottom cutout here press spacebar to end it last portion here will be the short cutout at the side here okay these sides are 15 mm in height and we just need to cut it off a little bit for this 64 so let's go back to our AutoCAD I'll need it to be 64 from the center so half of it will be 32 so let's draw the center line okay for this hemicircle and the workpiece and we use that center line to offset by 32 mm so let's go to line under here center line and from here we will just start from this starting point until the other side spacebar to end it spacebar once more to record so from this portion wiggle the circle to get the center point left click once and drag all the way to the bottom and spacebar to end it so if you can see here okay the usual practice is we left click on it select it and we extend by 5 mm both sides correct however for this case since the line connects straight to the outline just for this horizontal line we will reduce it by 2 mm okay so to simulate that gap here so yeah uh, it's easier to visualize uh, and uh, differentiate between the outline and the center line okay now let's click on the offset tool and i'll offset by 32 mm okay to the right side okay to the right or the left is fine i will just do one and then i will repeat the same thing by mirroring that feature so for this case i'll click line under this portion here change it to outline and from here i will left click once Track it down all the way uh, to a length or depth of 15 and draw horizontally escape and this center line the offset center line we can delete it so take note this feature here which correspond to this inner piece is actually hidden behind this segment here so just now we have accidentally selected the wrong layer Okay, I've drawn it in the outline layer. So just select these two outlines and convert it to hidden line. And with that, we just need to mirror it now. So go to mirror. Okay, since we have already selected the two objects, now specify the point of the mirror line. So first one and second one. Spacebar to apply it. All right. So we have completed our front view. Next, let's complete our end view because yeah, it's, it's also quite simple. So our end view, okay, the most simplified design here is actually an L shape with a bottom sloping surface here. Okay, so L shape with a bottom sloping effect. So let's go to AutoCAD. And from here, I will just do an offset. Of 20 mm okay so this offset I will convert it to construction line okay so this will be our gauge later on for us to draw our plan view so line starting from this corner here horizontally I will key in 64 vertically up 50 okay now horizontally to the right it's 40 downwards by 30 okay another little bit uh, horizontal length of 10 mm and lastly will be the sloping surface okay now let's draw out this small cutout here right in the middle of the view a and of course that view will be drawn on your B and this feature is hidden because of this surface here okay this material in front of it so all these uh, lines that we are going to draw uh, after this will be 
in the hidden layer. So go to AutoCAD, go to Line, convert this to hidden layer. Okay. So if you notice just now, the cutout is actually 5 mm this way. Okay. So another another way to say it is actually by midpoint because this is 10, 5 is just half of it. So we can apply the midpoint snapping tool. So press the shift key and hold, right mouse click and select midpoint. Okay, once you see the green triangle, left click, drag it down, enter 12. And now horizontally, yeah, just meet the sloping surface and spacebar. I will now create this hole here, the R25. And since we are looking from side B, it will be showcased as a hidden line. So line, okay, our layer is correct, hidden line. And from here, I will do tracing method all the way to the left. Left click once to apply the first point and left click again to end your line. Spacebar. And lastly is actually to create this small feature here. And that small feature okay, is actually 10 mm from this surface to this surface and 20 mm from the whole width here. Okay, you can find the dimensions here. So go to line. Again, this is a hidden feature. So from this corner here, okay, wait for a few milliseconds, drag it to the left and enter 10. Drag it down, this will be 15. Drag it to the left side, enter 20, and bring it up. And spacebar, we can end it. Okay, so we have completed uh, our left end view here. The only thing that is missing is actually the center line here. Okay, because if you see here, this is a semicircle. And if you are looking from the left side, we will still see the center line across that cylinder. So what I would like to do is click on left click on this line, control C, control V, okay, to apply the same line at this position. Escape. Now just select one of the line, okay, by left clicking on it, and we will change the layer type to center line. And with that, I can extend it by 5 mm and extend it 5 mm to the left and right side. Okay, so this is almost there. Okay, we are, what's left is just the plan view. So go to line. We will now draw the 45 degree construction line. So always from the front view, okay, find the extremities. Okay, this is rather simple. It's just a rectangle. So this is the extreme location. Left click. Okay, make sure your polar tracking is switched on and the angle is at 45 degree. Okay, once it's at 45, left click once more, make sure it's much longer than the last piece here. Okay, you see here? The length isn't important, just make sure that it's yeah, slightly longer than what you have. Alright, escape. Now, let's yeah draw further. I will extend this existing line above. Because with that, I can actually figure out how far is my part. I'll repeat again. Okay, as usual, my suggestion is to draw the most extreme features first. Okay, it means the end, the start and the end. So that we can roughly gauge where is our drawing supposed to be. Okay, to here. Repeat again from here all the way up. So our plan view will accommodate this area here you should not draw anything extra if we happen to have a, a small feature or line that is outside of this boundary box we know that we have drawn it incorrectly and yeah of course you need to uh, rectify it all right now let's click on line change it to outline layer and for the top view i will just see a rectangular piece yeah now, from here, I will draw a 45 degree line. Sorry, a vertical line. Once it touches the 45 degree, it will go 
uh, and turn by 90 degrees. So I will do a mesh property to convert this uh, solid outline into construction line. So MA, mesh property, spacebar, select the source uh, outline that you want to copy the function and then select the, the lines that you want it to be copied to. Okay, so from here, you know that there's a horizontal line across because of this feature here. Okay, it's a flat surface. From here all the way through. And then this feature is actually 10 mm away. So you can either do the tracing method across or for my case, I will just use offset since I know the value of it is 10 mm. All right. And with that, I will now start drawing this small cutout here. So this cutout and this cutout. Same thing, I will do construction line. But this time, I will change the color so that it's easier to visualize. So change it to construction line, line with a color of orange. So let's draw it here all the way across. Spacebar to end it. Spacebar to start again from this corner all the way above. And lastly will be from this portion here up and then until this portion. So with that, our cutout will be accommodated within this boundary here. So line under the layers, change it to outline again. But this time, please remember your color to change back to by layer. Now we just need to overlap those lines. And lastly, to trim the centerpiece here. So go to trim, select all objects, spacebar, and delete the centerpiece. Okay, so I think it's about, yeah, about three more features, the hole, the R25 holes, and this one, and two features at the sides. Okay, let's conquer the R25 holes since it's very, very uh, direct. So click on line, outline, all correct. Use the tracing method all the way until here. Left click and break it up. Spacebar, repeat the same thing. From here until here. And then spacebar. Lastly is to draw this small cutout here, which we will later on mirror to the opposite side. So again, I'll be doing tracing method so that you can easily uh, visualize it. So line construction outline with this time let's choose a lighter green so from this corner here until here let's draw until the midpoint spacebar spacebar again to repeat from here until the 45 degree and it will turn 90 degrees i will end it right in the middle and then at the same time i will Doing the same feature here, I will now draw from the front view upwards here to here, and then from the front here upwards till here. So it's just actually another rectangle. So line, change the layer to outline with by layer color, and from here to here, 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 here. And again, remember to trim the center portion. So go to trim, spacebar once more to select all objects and voila, we have trimmed the, the box. Let's repeat to the opposite side, okay? But for this case, I will just mirror it. In fact, I will actually delete this line so that I can mirror this one full piece. So if you notice, doesn't mean that you already have that line, you should not delete it. If you find a faster way to do it, like for this case, that line is will be just uh, making me trim a bit more to add another trim function while having this feature and mirror it in will be much faster to work with. So click on mirror. Now they ask you to specify your first point from here downwards. Left click once more and you can have your portion. Do you want to erase? Please select no. And what's Incomplete here is actually just the center line. Okay, so line, layer, change it to center line. Okay, we'll use the original bottom front view. 
Okay, sorry, not bottom. From the front view, as your tracing method. Spacebar to end the center line, and we will extend in both sides five hundred. All right. Let me switch off our construction line by going to this layer drop-down menu and clicking on the light bulb of the construction line. Okay, to switch it off. Okay, let's take a look. Let's study a little bit. So this is your front view A. Okay, your left end view and your plan view. Okay, the feature are all in. Okay, this feature is in here, the cutout, the front portion, which is also indicated on the plan view. And from the left end view, you have this cutout. Okay, the hole and the front part of the cutout. Okay. With that, we have completed our question 1C. Okay, happy trying.